In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on February 25th, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Columbus Blue Jackets vs. Carolina Hurricanes The Columbus Blue Jackets will go on the road and take on the Carolina Hurricanes in a Metropolitan Division battle. Columbus has a record of 27-23-1. Carolina has a record of 35-11-4. These two teams have faced each other three times this season with Carolina winning two out of the three games. Defense and goaltending have been terrible for the Jackets. The team ranks 30th in goals against per game, last shots against per game, and 24th in opponent shooting percentage and save percentage. The offense has been excellent for the Hurricanes this season. Carolina ranks 6th in goals per game, 10th in shots per game, 7th in shooting percentage, and 1st in scoring efficiency ratio. Sebastian Aho leads the team in points with 53 points on the season. Andrei Svechnikov has 48 points this year. Carolina is 5-1-0 to to zero in the last 6 games against the Jackets. Columbus will not stop Carolina's high-flying offense. The Hurricanes are one of the best teams in the league, so Carolina Hurricanes Hurricanes to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. In Columbus's 50 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 32 to 17. So far, taking the over when the Blue Jackets are playing away from home has been a good bet with an over under record of 16 to 9. On the season, 72% of Columbus's games have gone for at least 6 goals or more with 48% of the scoring coming from the Blue Jackets. On the other side, in Carolina's 50 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 26-24. So far, the team has been less likely to go over the betting line when playing at home, going just 11-12. On the season, 54% of Carolina's games have gone for at least 6 goals or more, with 59% of the scoring coming from the Hurricanes. Both teams have been very good offensively this season. The offense has been hot for the Jackets lately. They have scored four goals or more in eight out of the last 10 games and they rank ninth in goals per game. Patrick Lane has 13 goals in his last 10 games. Carolina ranks sixth in goals per game and they have scored three goals or more in six out of their last eight games. Sebastian Aho leads the team in points with 53 points on the season. Andrei Svechnikov has 48 points this year. With both teams Teams playing so well on offense, this will be a higher scoring game. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Buffalo Sabres vs. St. Louis Blues The Buffalo Sabres will go on the road and take on the St. Louis Blues at Enterprise Center. Buffalo has a record of 16-28-8. St. Louis has a record of 30-14-6. Goals per game, goals against per game, shots per game, shots against per game, shooting percentage, opponent shooting percentage, scoring efficiency ratio, and save percentage all favor the Blues in this game. St. Louis is top six in goals per game and goals against per game. They rank fourth in goals per game and will take on a Sabres team that ranks 27th in goals against per game. Buffalo is bottom 10 in goals per game and goals against per game. The Blues are 7-2-1 in the last 10 games against the Sabres. Buffalo will not be able to stop St. Louis and the Blues will win this game by two goals or more. In St. Louis's 50 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 24-20 to one. So far, the team has been less likely to go over the betting line when playing at home, going just 12 to 13 to 1. On the season, 56% of St. Louis's games have gone for at least 6 goals or more with 56% of the scoring coming from the Blues. In Buffalo's 52 games, the over has hit in over half of their games, going 26-25. So far, the team has been less likely to go over the betting line when playing on the road, going just 12-13. On the season, 52% of Buffalo's games have gone for at least six goals or more, with 45% of the scoring coming from the Sabres. The Sabres rank 27th in goals against per game and 24th in opponent shooting percentage and save percentage. The Blues rank 4th in goals per game, 16th in shots per game, 2nd in shooting percentage, 
and fifth in scoring efficiency ratio. Vladimir Tarasenko leads the team with 46 points, and he has one point or more in eight out of his last 10 games. Pavel Butchnevich has recorded one point or more in five out of his last six games. The Sabres will not be able to stop St. Louis offense, so over the projected total is our full game total pick. New Jersey Devils vs. Chicago Blackhawks The New Jersey Devils face the Chicago Blackhawks with both teams looking to improve from tough seasons. The Devils have only won 18 of their 51 games, while the Blackhawks have only won 18 of their 52 games this season. The Devils are looking to climb out of last place while the Blackhawks hope to make up ground in the Central Division. The Devils are just 3-7 in their last 10 games, while the Blackhawks have lost 3 straight and just 3-6-1 in their last 10 games. The Chicago Blackhawks get set to host the New Jersey Devils with an overall record of 18 to 26 to 8. This mark places them 7th in the Central Division. Through 52 games, the Blackhawks have scored 126 goals, giving them an average of 2.37. This output gives them a rank of 29th among NHL teams. On defense, Chicago is the 24th ranked unit, giving up 3.35 goals per contest. So far, the Blackhawks have played the second toughest schedule in the league, and when taking into account Chicago's scoring margin relative to the quality of their competition. They come in with a power ranking of 27th in the NHL. The New Jersey Devils come into this road contest with an overall record of 17 to 28 to 5. Through 50 games, the Devils are 8th in the Metropolitan Division. On the season, they have found the net 146 times, good for a rank of 20th among NHL teams. Heading into the game, New Jersey is the 27th ranked defensive team, allowing opponents to score at an average rate of 3.56 goals per game. So far, the Devils have a strength of schedule rating of 11th in the league. When diving into their opponent-adjusted scoring margin, they come into this game as the 26th-ranked team in the NHL. The Devils are eager to climb out of last place in their division and look to pull off the upset and provide great odds in the process as road underdogs. The problem is that the Devils face a Blackhawks team that can find favorable matchups on both ends of the ice. The Blackhawks should find the back of the net throughout the game with their top line of Alex Dabrinkat. Patrick Kane and Brandon Hagel overwhelming the Devils' defense and creating open shots in the offensive zone with quick passes. The Blackhawks should also limit the top heavy forward unit of the Devils with Seth Jones and Connor Murphy and the rest of the defensive unit stepping up at the blue line and cutting off angles to the net on the odd man rush and limiting shots on the net, allowing goaltender Mark andre Fleury to make plenty of easy saves. The Chicago Blackhawks' money line is our full-game side pick. The Devils' defense is one of the worst in the NHL, and it's easy to think that the upcoming game will be a high-scoring one as a result. However, the Blackhawks are led by their defensive unit and even better goaltending, and both defensive units look to step up against two struggling offenses. The Devils should limit the Blackhawks' top heavy offense with Ryan Graves and Jonas Sagenthaler creating turnovers on the defensive zone and limiting shots on the net. The Blackhawks, meanwhile, should eliminate and potentially shut out the Devils with Seth Jones, Eric Gustafsson, Connor Murphy, and the rest of the defensive unit forcing turnovers in the neutral zone and defensive zone while Marc-Andre Fleury blanks the Devils' shots on the net. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.